Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today's problem is encode and decode strings. So this is a premium problem on lead code, right? So this is available on lead code premium. So that's why to solve this problem, we are uh, solving this on platform linked code, right? So as usual, first of all, we'll be understanding the problem statement, the logic part, right? So before proceeding further, make sure to subscribe my channel. It will really motivate me to create more such content for you. And you can follow me on other platforms as well. The link is there in the description itself. So let's get started with the problem statement now. The problem says encode and decode a string. Design an algorithm to encode a list of strings to a string. The encoded string is then sent over the network and is decoded back to the original list of strings. So basically this is you know in general what we do whenever we are sharing a data so whatever the original data we are having so we do encode it right and once it is received at the receivers and it is got decoded into the original data right so we have to do a similar kind of implementation similar kind of algorithmic implementation of encoding and decoding operation right so let's understand with the help of an example. So here in the input, we are having these values, link code, love you, right? Uh, and obviously, so this is the string that is given to us. So that would be encoded. And that, again, that would be decoded at the receiver's end. So this is, uh, he will get the, he, she will get the original output. So here, it's, so it's, it's up to you, like what algorithm you will use for the encoding and decoding purpose. So, let's take one example from here let's say uh, we are having this right so this is what we are having lint code love you so uh, first thing is that we have to take this list and we have to encode this in a string right so this is our encode method and we have to this method is supposed to return a string right so what we can do or what you can think of is that let's take each let's take let's take each uh, element and uh, let's say use a separator separator between them linked code then dollar oh, sorry ampersand here is acting as a separator law and u right but but there could be a possibility that dollar itself is a part of the dollar itself is a part of like let's say here it is a part of this element itself because if you will see here constant is given text text is to so this question you can check has been asked in google basically right so there could be possibility that this ampersand itself is a part uh here so in that case how we will recognize so obviously this thing we cannot do i mean this way uh, we cannot do uh now you can say okay let's do in this way that whatever is the length of each um, element or each string that is there in our um, list let's let's use this let's append this one so here one two three four so four then then four code is also of length four then four then three in this way but again uh this uh, it could be a possibility that here we are having here we are having this two or let's say this 4 itself, 4 itself a part of the element, right? So here we will have 44, right? So along with having the length, along with having the length, we have to use some separator also. We should include some separator also so that we can differentiate. So here, uh, here we have taken the length of this link, 4 link, let's say now let's consider this as 4 link. So what is the length? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? And use a separator also let's let's say let's say we are using this hash so five hash four length is the actual uh, string then four hash where four is the length of the code and hash is a, a separator and then code then four hash then sorry then love then three hash you right so in this way in this way we can send uh, in this way we can encode our string so you can see that we have done the same thing here so we have taken a string builder because you know a string is immutable in java so if you will uh, uh, i mean every time new string would be created right so which is not a very 
uh, good thing so here we have taken the string builder now we are going through each string given in this str um, list of string right then and here what we are doing is that we are appending first the length of the string for the length of the string as you can see here what is what was the length of four link that was five then the then the separator which is hash and then the string element that we were having so like this our string will be formed like this our string will be formed and we will return so here we are converting because this is the encoded string is what a string builder so that's why we're using two string method and we are returning it from this method encode is returning this right this is string now comes the part to decode it because uh this is string we will have so here in the encode in the in in the decode method, we will send this encoded string, and the expectation is that we should get this output. We should get this output. This output we should get, right? So, how will we doing this? So, for this purpose, like it will be returning a list of a string as our actual uh, original data that we were having. So, for this, we have taken this decoded string that will be returned at the end. Now, we will start going through our a string our encoded string that is provided to us so in type equal to zero while i is less than that of the length of the given a string now first we will find the index of the separator so what is our separator here hash so with the use of index of method provided the because see what we want of post a certain index so i is our current index which is zero so after this what is the first occurrence at which in index is the first occurrence of the hash at this index right likewise when i value will be incremented let's say i value is here so a uh, post that what is the occurrence for index post that at what index is the first occurrence of hash at this index so yeah index of method is helping us in achieving the same so uh, we are finding of the index of the hash symbol um post a certain index right I mean, this index would also be included, obviously. So uh, from here, we are getting the index. So as of now, as of now, if you will see, is if you will see, so this hash is at hash is at index one. This hash is at index one. So that one would be returned. Now, what do we need? So we need we know that we know that we now this length we need, right? This length we need, and we know that that it it would be a substring of the ith i i whatever the current index is and the and the index on which and the index on which our hash symbol is hash separator is so from the substring method so here you can see where we are fetching the length we are finding the substring that is there between i to a uh, separator index right where i in, in, is included separator index is not going to be included right so we are fetching it and it is an integer so we are storing this in length variable now now uh, you know that here if you will see you know that that at whatever index that um, hash is occurred post that itself our original list uh, original string must have started because here you can see after hash we have our original string that is for length here also after hash we have code for so if we will do just if we will do if we will increment if we will update our i value as separator index plus one post that means we we will start from our original string so that's what we are doing here is that in our decoded string we are storing the value from i i is denoting what the starting of the of the of the actual string up till length also we do have right so i plus length so this will give this will gives us this will provide us the actual string and that we are storing in our uh, in our list decoded string and we are updating the value of i as i plus length because now we have consumed the complete word the complete actual word so we will start from the the same process with the next remaining words that we are having right and at the end we are just simply returning decoded string right so yeah so yeah this was the code and like approach for solving this particular problem i hope you were able to understand uh, thank you so much for watching this video and tomorrow we'll be discussing the next question. So these were the questions from array and hashing topics, right? So from tomorrow we'll be starting the two pointers, right? So thank you everyone. Bye-bye.